What's up? My name is Technobi here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be covering how to fix Warzone 2.0 if it's crashing on startup for you. That means whenever you click play in Blizzard or Steam, it crashes out somewhere before reaching the main menu, maybe just after, or maybe randomly while in game. It's a general fix that works well for a lot of PCs and somewhere in this video, you'll more than likely find the answer to your issue. The absolute simplest thing is to verify your game files using Steam or Blizzard. Even though it may sound silly, it's worthwhile doing. For Steam, head across to the library, right-click Warzone, Properties, head across to Local Files, and then click Verify Integrity of Game Files. For Battle.net, when you get to the screen here, assuming you have it installed, I'll give you an example with Modern Warfare instead of Warzone 2, it's exactly the same, click the cogwheel next to Play, followed by a Scan and Repair. It's as simple as that. These do the exact same thing. They run through the local files on your PC, verify that everything's okay. If it's not, it'll download whatever, patch it up, and hopefully things will work. The next thing to do is to update your graphics drivers. Now, before you skip ahead, I do have something incredibly important to tell you that may help you. In front of me, I have NVIDIA, AMD, and Intel's graphics download pages. When you search for your graphics card, you'll find these in the description down below. From the download type, instead of selecting the latest version, select the Studio or Pro Edition. It's usually a few versions back, far more stable. Even though you may not get as many FPS, at least the game will run properly and not crash. Even though running older drivers usually tells you to update them, using Studio or Pro drivers won't. So that's a quick tip. For NVIDIA, select Studio Driver from the drop down here. For AMD, all you need to do is select your card here, then Submit. And from the drop down, select Windows 10 or 11, scroll down, and you won't be downloading the Adrenaline Edition. Instead, you'll be downloading the Pro Edition. You can see the version numbers here. For Intel, you'll be heading across to Graphics. Then you'll usually download the Windows DCH or Arc DCH drivers. But instead of doing this, scroll down and you'll see, a little bit further on past the betas, the Pro Graphics Windows Edition here. This is essentially the same thing. If we click this, It'll take us across to the download, download the exe, not the zip file, click on it, install it, or pam, you're done. It's essentially like downgrading, but at least the game won't complain if you're not on the absolute latest version. Now, if you'd like to reset your game settings, if you think one of the settings you might have changed is causing it to be unhappy, it's very simple. Simply open up your documents folder. For me, I'll open a new browser, head to documents. Then I'll locate Call of Duty, which I'll open up. Inside of here, you'll see Players. Open the Players folder. You'll see different folders with different account IDs, Steam IDs, and probably Battle.net IDs or usernames too. Select whatever one applies to you, or everything for example, then hit Delete, and the next time you fire up your game, you'll be creating all of the graphic settings from scratch, or at least auto-optimizing for your PC, which should hopefully fix any issues that's caused by pushing things too high. If you're running lots of game hooks at once, it could also cause a crash. Things like the Discord overlay, maybe you're recording the game through game capture, things like that. It's a good idea to restart your PC so absolutely nothing is running, close anything that starts up, and check your tray with the arrow in the bottom right, close things there too, then fire up Steam or Battle.net, then the game, and hopefully things will work properly. If they do, it's one of the bits of software running in the background that causes the game to crash or crash on startup. Now, one of the last things I can suggest is simply lowering your in-game settings, assuming you can get to the main menu. If you're crashing out while loading into games, lobbies, etc., it's probably one of your game settings causing it to crash. You can either reset everything, as seen in the previous step, otherwise you can open up your game, and lower the options that usually pertain mostly to VRAM. I would think more than likely running out of VRAM is a common cause for crashes, especially on lower end graphics cards. Finally, if things still don't work, I can only refer you to the Steam forum or the Blizzard forum where you'll hopefully find a solution. At least when big issues do come around, like crashes while playing, multiple matches and things like that, you'll be able to find them. In Steam, we can head across to Warzone then the community hub over here. I'll also link this down in the description below to help you get here if you're on Blizzard, for example. You'll head across to discussions at the very top, and inside of here, you may see a pinned article or thread about game crashes, such as known issues, for example. If we click the Trello board here, you'll see a list of known issues, at least when it loads, or maybe not. Page didn't seem to take me there for some reason. Anyways, this forum's usually a good place to find out information for your PC. If you search for crash, for example, you may find threads with more information that, that more closely relate to your PC and could cause things to improve. 
But anyways, that's really about it for this quick video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.